Howdy ho everybody, welcome back to the Rock's Roost and the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. We are here in the Dark World atop the Golden Pyramid, the Pyramid of Power, where the evil wizard Agnum dumped us. We talked to Sai Shralu, who told us to go check out the Dark Palace, which we see here on our map as number one. You see there's also a crystal shape there. There's a maiden imprisoned in that palace. We gotta save her. We can't go much anywhere else in the world right now anyway until we get the item out of that palace, so let's do it. Now, first thing you want to do is descend the pyramid in this fashion. Go over here and drop down, and there's going to be a piece of heart right here. That's going to give you a heart container right away if you've been following the guide. Let's go ahead and switch to the boomerang. And while we're here, let's check our bottle stock. We're good. Two fairies and magic potion should be fine. Good job. Here we have Moblins. Legend of Zelda staple. One hit with the Master Sword gets rid of them. This other fellow is called a Snapdragon. He's very, very, very tough. Takes several hits. If you're a Breath of the Wild player, you may know this critter here. This is a Hinox. Take a whole lot of hits, and they usually drop bombs. Again, the Sword Beam is your friend. You got some range on that. If you did get hit during that... Oh, well, here's another one. He's respawned. There you go. If you did get hit like I just did... There's a fairy in this tree. Right there. Alright, that's it for the pyramid for now. That rupee. Save every rupee you can for the Pond of Happiness. Don't forget, this way to the Palace of Darkness. Yeah, if you look at your map, it is there where the Eastern Palace was in the Light World. Don't forget, for now, we're actually going to take a little bit of a detour and get something special. I missed. That was an epic whiff. Hmm, I'll show you this while we're here. This is an enemy called a stall. Like Stallfos, but just the stall part. You can pick this up. That's a power glove rock right there. This is a Ropa. R-O-P-A. They take two hits with the Master Sword to kill. I got him there with the, the beam. Or did they take three hits? Uh, did I write it down wrong? Maybe I did. Oh well, here's a shop. Just in case you want to know, this is where the potion shop is in the light world. Yeah, three. Three hits, I stand corrected. I don't know everything, man. Pick up that rock and head this way. This is the Dark World version of an Octorok. It's called a Slay Rock. Here's another stall. Stalls are two hits. That's probably what I was thinking of. Let's check the sign while we're here. This way, over and up, Lake of Ill Omen. Like Octoroks, those can drop a lot of rupees, so it's worth killing them when you see them. They can drop a uh, red rupee. Blue rupee's not bad. All right. One, two. No, it is two. I guess I was hitting them with the beam. The dark rocks cannot become slay rocks. This uh, Zora-looking dude is called a Ku. Hey, you. Curses to anyone who throws something into my circle of stones. Blah, 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 blah. Let's just throw the sign in. Let's see what happens. Bloop, bloop. It's a catfish. Was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I'll give you this if you go away. It's a medallion. 
the first of three. This is the Quake Medallion. Its magic causes the ground to shake and defeats nearby enemies. Watch your magic meter. Yeah, it's super cool. That little bonefish comes up. Uh, now, this is the end right here. You can't get above this waterfall. So this is the Lake of Ill Omen. And there's no Zora River or anything like that for us to see here. Unfortunately, that's what I wanted to get. There's three medallions that you can get. That's the first of three. If you're following my guide, you may, you may have already gotten one. There is one you can get on the Death Mountain. If you go back up there, once you get the Master Sword before going to the castle to try and rescue the princess. One, two. Yeah, it's definitely two hits. The sword beam sometimes causes confusion. Anything up here? Nothing but a high notch. Take two hits when they hit you. Hey! The Ropas can give you good money, too. There's five rupees here in this tree. Again, that, that respawns. I mean, this is not a good place to farm rupees. But just, just so you see. It's there every time. Anywho, darn you. Oh, that's good. Well, since I'm wounded, we'll pretend I did that on purpose. Use the mirror to pop over to the light world and uh, heal up. I'm still too cheap to buy a potion. We're just going to rely on fairies and the medicine of magic. Nothing. Here, rely on the fact that your swing kind of goes around the corner. It can help you out. Don't ever forget that. All right, now it's time to get cereal. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just on a mad rupee hunt. What can I say? Anything? Nah. I stopped for nothing. These horned enemies are called Taros, T-A-R-O-S. And they're obvious analogs with the oh, wrong button. <laughs> Muscle memory there. I thought I had the boomerang selected. Sorry. That can happen, and it resets the monsters. Yeah, these are analogs for the soldiers, of course. Use the sword beam. Now, here's what's blocking us all from the rest of the world. We can't do anything about these yet. Can't pull them up. But you can push them down, but you need a special item to be able to do that. Anything good? Nothing good. And here is a great berry. Or a big fairy. I, I don't know what the official name for this is, but you see. Full heal here. Fairy fountain. A fairy fountain for you. A fairy fountain for me. He he he. Ha ha ha. Okay, so let's see here. Watch out for the snapdragon. You know, in the 3DS game... A Link Between Worlds, which is a sequel to this game. There are snapdragons in it as well, and the, the animation they have when you hit them with the sword is just hilarious. Um, if I can find a, a little clip of that, because I can't capture my 3DS. I don't have a capture card installed on it, but if I can find a little clip of that, I may stick it in here so you can see it. If you already know what to do, you don't need to stop by here, but stop by the little shrine if you want some lore this tree this tree featured prominently in the ishinomori english comic or english manga that showed up in nintendo power throughout 1992 i've been using that as part of the thumbnails it was a super cool comic 
of this game. It doesn't follow the story exactly, but it is still really, really cool, and I loved it when I was a kid. It really got me into the game. You're new here, aren't you? Did you come looking for the power of gold? Well, you're too late. It will only obey the first person who touches it. The man who last claimed the power of gold wished for this world. It reflects his heart. Yes, I came here because of greed for the golden power, and look what happened to me. To restore the golden land, a person worthy of the golden power must defeat the man who created this place. Until that time, I am stuck in this bizarre shape. But what a mischievous thing to leave lying around. The power of gold. Triforce. So here we have the first mention of the Triforce. And we have a dashable wall. Back here are some basic things. Hearts. Four hearts for you. Never hurts. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the chat. Thanks for the hearts. I'll see you later. I'll do what I can about this whole golden power thing. All right, back out we go. And dodge the Hinox. Now, there is a fella called a Dacto here in this tree. It's like the crow in the light world, but it takes two hits instead of one with the Master Sword. You follow this arrow. Now, before we go any further, and certainly before you go any further in your playthrough, make sure that you have 110 rupees. If you don't have 110 rupees, just keep going around, zoning in and out of this area, killing the Ropas, killing the Hinox, killing the Dactos, Snapdragon, etc. And you should get 100 rupees pretty quick. 110 rupees pretty quick. Because they will occasionally drop 20. Usually they'll drop one or five, so. Not too bad, just follow the way I'm going. We're in good shape here, although, let me take this guy out. Nah, didn't get anything. It was worth checking. Anyhow, go in here and just sort of find your way through toward the right side or the east side. You'll notice someone followed you out. Oh, Kiki, the monkey, Kiki. I love rupees more than anything. Can you spare me 10 rupees, Kiki? Give him 10 rupees. Kiki, Kiki. Good choice. I'll accompany you for a while, Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. Okay. I was going to go down there and get him for fear of getting stabbed in the back. But... Here's the palace. Kiki, Kiki. If you give me 100 rubies, I'll open the entrance for you. Kiki, Kiki. What will you do? Ask him to open it. Try to open it yourself. I'm pretty sure there's no other way to open the palace, so just give him the 100 rupees. Kiki, good choice. Then I get 100 of your rubies. Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. Up he goes. Very adroitly. In we go. Palace of Darkness. Dark World Dungeon 1. Now I'm going to try to do this as efficiently as possible. Although I can't guarantee anything. 